how things have gone with the switch for, I mean, working with Joe instead of Corey, is there much difference or is it, does it change your job, change your job much? Uh, I think really the only difference is just kind of having a guy that's now a lefty um, compared to Corey who's a righty. So kind of just where you got to place the ball more, focus on his left hit. But I mean, they're both great guys, great punters. So, you know, it's just really easy to adapt to. Um, you know, Corey and I spent a lot of this offseason working together. And then kind of when this all took place, Joe and I kind of hit the ground running then. And, you know, we were in here after hours and stuff on the weekends, you know, snapping and kicking. So really the biggest thing is just getting comfortable. And that's really what we're doing right now. So, um, you know, it's been really good, though, to be honest with you. Does it help that you, Joe was holding last year when you right. snapped him? Does that help to have that relationship already? Right, yeah. So we kind of already had that bond going. And just kind of overall being a specialist, you know, out on that field, we're together 24-7, you know, from meetings to practice. So, you know, we have a really good bond. You know, obviously we came in with the same class. So, um, you know, just being around him and, um, you know, he, he has my trust and I have his trust. So overall, that's just been really big for us kind of going into this season. How have you improved on uh, snapping for place kicks as opposed to punts? I mean, it seems like at first you were just doing the punts. Now, now you're doing both. Uh, have you improved in that area? Yeah, so uh, I kind of worked with a guy by the name of Gary Zahner a few times in the off season and kind of going home and training with my brother as well. So kind of one of the biggest things I did was taking my legs out of it on the short snaps. And it's really kind of gotten my accuracy down. And uh, the perfect laces really came with it too. So this fall camp right now, it's been the improvements have been really well. and. You know, I'm just going to continue to perfect my craft at that and just um, go to the best of my ability with that as well. How did you first start snapping? Uh, I first started snapping in like seventh grade. Uh, it was when my brother actually first got into it. And back when we played, there were like weight limits and stuff. So if you were over the weight limit, you had to get moved up. And for my brother's team, the guy got moved up. So my dad was like in the car and he's like, well, shoot, like we'll just give it, give you a shot at it. And then, you know, he went in, into it and then you know, whenever my brother did, I kind of followed in his footsteps. So I then got into it, and then we worked with a guy by the name of Nolan Owen who snapped at Northern Illinois, and we kind of really sat down and kind of did some research on it and saw, like, being a specialist, if you're good at it and you perfect your craft, that, you know, the the future you can have in that is, is really bright, and, you know, it can be a long one. So we, we just kind of worked at it and worked with Nolan, who's been really great with us, um, you know, guys like Rubio as well. And then, uh, you know, Coach Zahner that I mentioned, and, you know, it was just kind of all, all just got put together. And it was, you know, it's been one of the best decisions, you know, for my brother and I, speaking for him as well. When did you realize, like, okay, it's something I have a legitimate future in? Because I know Coach Gasser in the past has said, right. you're a guy that has some legitimate pro potential. Mm -hmm. When did it hit you? I, I could be getting paid to do it. <laughs> I'd say, honestly, probably – probably in college going through the recruiting process and I was kind of ranked up there pretty high and um, you know I just kind of went through that and then had the full ride offer here and then kind of when I got here through the years I was just kind of doing my thing and it was just you know I kind of just really realized that you know if I just continue to do what I do and just be the best version of me every day that you know I have a chance to really build a future into this and then um, seeing my brother kind of go through that process and now be with the Chicago Bears snapping um, you know, it really opened my eyes, and I've been able to have a lot of good conversations with him over this last off season and stuff. And you know, just to kind of see what the future can hold for me is definitely something that's been really exciting for me. Um, kind of going into my senior season here, and uh, you know, it's something that I'm really excited to, to get into that process after this season. And uh, you know, just continue to be the best version of me for the Cyclones this year. Was that a door that could have been open at the end of last? season too I mean were you getting enough feedback already uh I mean here and there but my mom would probably kill me <laughs> uh you know both my parents would you know first things first is to get my degree here um and then uh you know finish school in that way but you know I've like I said I, I love Iowa State and I love this coaching staff so you know my my commitment is to be here all four years and to just you know give it my all and, and to be around such a great group of specialists and a great team in general um you know, I knew I'd be here from, uh, you know, all four years. How did your recruiting process go? Uh, it was it was a good one. There was a lot of a lot of interest in, you know, my first offer came. Uh, I got a preferred walk on at Kansas, kind of being around my brother and their coaching staff. And then Coach Golish, when he was at Illinois, gave me a gray shirt scholarship. And then Georgia extended a gray shirt scholarship as well to me when I went out there and snapped for them. Um, and then when Golish left and joined this staff, literally that – I was just telling him in my senior speech yesterday how like two nights later, Coach Gasser was at my house and, and everything. And then 
you know, I had some good conversations with Coach Gamble and then, uh, you know, extended me an offer like a few days after that. And, you know, that whole staff came back out again. And, you know, I kind of came out here for my official and, and did all that. And it was just from the school to the program and these coaches, I just fell in love with everything. Um, you know, so it was really good uh, just going through that recruiting process. And, you know, it's different being a specialist. Usually stuff comes towards the end of everyone else. So you just got to be patient, and that's what I did. Do you like being the snapper or being the first guy down the field more? Uh, you know, the, the when you're snapping, the thing is always told to snap first and then kind of worry about the rest. But, you know, that's one thing kind of going back to the recruiting process is I took great pride in, you know, being that athlete and kind of just not being your typical long snapper. So, you know, from the weight room to my training, you know, I like to just really take great pride in that and, you know, deliver a good snap, do my protection, and then really get downfield because, you know, I believe in myself and, um, you know, I know they count on me to be a guy to make plays and, you know, that's what I'm going to do for them. Thanks.